In this episode of the SketchUp Show, we'll cover all the new features of SketchUp 2014, and we'll do it all in under five minutes. Recently, SketchUp 2014 was released. In this tutorial, I'll tour you through each new feature and tell you why it's important. And if you've watched the last several episodes, you'll know by now that I've added the Space Mouse Wireless to my setup. In this tutorial, you'll see instances of how it's become a natural and comfortable part of my workflow. Remember, if you're looking for more in-depth SketchUp tutorials, head to SketchUpSchool.com. But for now, let's get started with this tutorial. The existing two-point arc tool wasn't ideal for all of our arc needs. Thank goodness for the new arc tool. We can now define the arc as an angle about a point, which in some cases will be a lot more helpful. Not to be left out, the Pi tool works the same, but fills in a surface at the same time. In the past, having the shadows turned on for larger models would often grind SketchUp to a screeching halt. But not anymore. You can keep them turned on now, and you'll see a huge boost in rendering speed while you're modeling. And also, when you're making live presentations, so I'm using the Space Mouse here, and I can fly around, leave the shadows on, they'll render smoothly, and so I can make these nice sweeping movements with the Space Mouse and create something a little bit more compelling for a client to look at. Now, if you care about fitting SketchUp into your BIM workflow, then this one's for you. You can use the classifier tool to tag components in your model with IFC compatible metadata. And then when you're all done tagging everything you want, you can export the model metadata and all to an IFC file format. The warehouse got a huge facelift, which will definitely make it better to use. But it's not just pretty, it's actually becoming a tool that promises to help save time when you're looking for components and also help you find components that you can trust to use in your model. So SketchUp has an API that allows developers to write programs that talk to SketchUp. And Ruby is the language that SketchUp speaks. With the launch of 2014, SketchUp has upgraded the version of Ruby that it uses, added access to Ruby's standard library, and added new classes, methods, Ruby console upgrades, and a long list of bug fixes. If you're a SketchUp developer, you're probably smiling right now. And if you're a SketchUp user, trust me, the future is a bright and shiny place filled with awesome new SketchUp extensions. Most of us using SketchUp half expect layout to work this way already. You can name a component or group in SketchUp, and now the label tool in Layout will reference that name. Also, you can just click on a surface to grab the area, or on an edge to grab its length. Last but not least, this one's a big time saver for Layout users. You can keep information up to date and accurate by automating it with the new auto text functionality. So it works great for auto numbering pages, but it can also be used to keep other common information up to date. Also, you can create your own auto text tags to suit your specific workflow. So that's a whirlwind tour of all the great new features in SketchUp 2014. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.